right, what's good YouTube, gentlemen Thomas here and I'm the coach of the Copenhagen Galates and as you can see here I played my Roost week 2 match already and unfortunately I actually have to do this as a replay because my mic, in I'm using a headset, I don't have an actual microphone one day probably but I'm using a headset and for some reason, reason the mic on my headset didn't want to work uh, I tried different stuff, um, I know uh, it uh, would, I, I knew it picked up because I have this little, um, there's a li this little connection piece in my mic that makes it so I can connect the headset to my PC or I can connect it to PlayStation, whatever I want. Um, and every time I touched it, I got a, it, it uh, reacted on OBS. But whenever I talked, nothing came out, so I didn't know what the what the issue was. Turns out that even though it didn't fall out, uh, the wire in the headset, which it is a wire, wired headset, I kind of wish it was wireless, but still. But the wire in the headset was apparently a little bit loose, just enough so the mic didn't pick up, and but it didn't fall out or didn't move or anything, so that I didn't... Like in in the rush of the battle, because I didn't want to take too long against my opponent, which he he was very understanding. So that's so shout out to you, uh, Panoska. Um, so I didn't really check it afterwards. I looked at it a bit more thoroughly, and I found out that's that was the reason. So I'm just gonna do this battle as a replay now. I didn't change anything on the team compared to Team Builder. Um, he brought. Um, Mopigo, Cabaracha, Shaman, Mega Banet, Lycanroc, Dusk, and Hadreen. I was very surprised by um, him not bringing War Turtle, which I later found out is, is, is simply because he thought that Shaman was a good enough defensive counter to Bear Scooter, which, and I mean, I understand his thought process, but he didn't know Bear Scooter got Poison Jab. So he thought he was under the assumption that Shaman could take um, three Ice Fangs from a Bandit Spare Scooter, which, if that was the only thing, I could totally understand. But because I had Poison Jam on Bear Scooter, it actually made it so Bear Scooter could really go in on his team. Now I'm just gonna let I'm gonna let the battle play a little bit, and then I'm gonna stop talks and let it play kind of. So I let off with. Um, my what's it called uh, bear scooter because I knew it had such a great ma matchup I knew he wasn't gonna stay in because a cell rock didn't kill me no matter what he was so I flipped her in uh, expecting the um, the shaman to come in I went into incineral and now I the incineral set as you know was like a very offensive uh, kind of setup set and I bulked up here and because he didn't bring Hitman top I didn't really know which mon to to utilize in Senoros uh, weakness policy flame charge strat on and I did think Lycanroc might have been the best option but with him sending in like this um, I was uncertain like first of all that was insane in my opinion like had I knocked off you lose your item um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it now because you won't find out his choice bandit actually um, so with him sending it if I knock off here you, you you lose the choice band and then your lagon rock doesn't hit nearly as hard um, and if I U-turn I just go straight out to my bear scooter again and we keep like going back and forth I just didn't understand why like it's it's a very ballsy play don't get me wrong but I just did not understand why he would um, go into his lagon rock on this uh, play but yeah I bulked up and and here, uh, I actually did take like a couple of minutes, or like a minute or two, to quickly go, well, what can the Lagrat do right now? Um, I feared he was going to be a Focus Sash, so that if I Flame Charged him... Oh, actually, wait, I'm... St oh my god, why I'm not... I'm, real I'm only realizing this now. I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb. I hate myself, I hate myself. I'm actually only realizing this now. If I had Flame Charged him... Like, he stone edge me, I flame charge. Because he's banded and not uh, Sash, as I thought, even if he was Sash, but he would have popped my weakness policy, and because he's banded, he wouldn't be able to Excel Rock me, so I would actually get a kill here no matter what, because after all the boosts, boosts and Cinnamon would uh, Oko something with a power trip. Now, in my thought process here, because as you will see here, I actually decide to swap out because. As I said, I thought he was Focus Sash. I didn't want to end up him him stone edging into a cell rock because it could potentially kill me. So I get my 
when it reaches it, he goes into his Mopigo as I uh, get my rocks up. Kind of, I kind of predicted this turn some events. He actually goes for Aura Wheel here, where I, did, I definitely thought he would Rapid Spin, but at the same time, I didn't want to pop the Cobalt Berry on um, Runa Reaches just yet. So I went into Miltank, and he Rapid Spun on Miltank. I Earthquake with Miltank, I don't think he necessarily thought I had it. So yeah, so I, I wasn't really too um, concerned about Mopigo. Now, he goes into Shaman here, and... I understand, like, expecting the Earthquake, Shaman takes nothing, I get it. But at the same time, Shaman doesn't do anything to my Miltank, because I was Sapse, but even... Like, I I, <coughs> I think he thought that I was uh, Scrappy because of this Mega Bayonet, which I do go for Body Slam here, it, that's a really good play from Panoska. And here I'm kind of like... Mega Bayonet doesn't get a fighting move, so I was kind of like 50-50 on what... A, what he wanted to do, he taunts, uh, I guess, I mean, yeah, you didn't want to get T-Wave, I understand that. He knocks off, which, that was the main reason why I didn't want to go into Runa Regis, because I didn't want the knockoff to to actually get hit as I swapped in. Now, he misses a Will-O-Wisp, and in my opinion, that Will-O-Wisp miss didn't really matter, because Miltang isn't there to do damage, it's just there to sit and take a couple of hits, and toss some T-Waves up. Yes, not being able to potentially Earthquake Lycanroc could put, could as a Earthquake for as much damage as possible would be annoying, but I personally don't think it was that big of a deal, but I mean, I guess a burn on a physically offensive mon is always good. Now, I swapped my um, Rune Regis in here because I predicted him to taunt, which he does, and I fully expected this. Now, his following play I actually have to admit, was smart of him because he probably knew that uh, that he couldn't kill me. So burning Runa Regis rather than just attacking me was a very smart play. Um, I definitely definitely agree that this was actually his best option because had he hit me for whatever he had hit me for and not burned me, uh, Runa Regis would still have been really good this game because. Poltergeist is new is such a big hit on everything and his Mopiko, his only resist was already quite uh, low on health. Now he did he does actually go to his Mopiko here and I don't think he he had uh, figured out I was Cobra Bear yet cuz he just go for foul play which I guess is okay but I earthquake here now I thought I was in like as it looks and as I thought I thought I was in really good position right here. Uh, I got taken uh, I had taken down two of his mons, one of them being probably the biggest annoyance to any of my sweepers because Mega Bennett is prankster. Now here is a very defining moment. I, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not good with slow breakers myself, so whenever I go against them, I just kind of like I'm, I'm not good at countering slow breakers. And you basically, I'm probably actually am just gonna speed up here because. This is gonna take a while. Um, I body slam. Uh, I definitely, and I know it might just be because I don't know because it's it's on my side, but I definitely think it's insane that I didn't get any paralysis of any of those body body slams at all. Like I I, I understand he missed the willow wisp and he missed the stone edge, but the stone edge would have done nothing to Runa Regis. The willow wisp is a bit unfortunate, but at the same time, as I said, I don't think. Uh, Milting was a an important um, pick for f for me, so yeah, yeah. As you can see here, I just like I, I can't break through. I can't really break through the um, Harrying the draining kiss, which heals him up, and him having trick room. Like I knew what I had to do. The problem about it was he played really, really smart about it. I had to get Barry Scuda in on a turn. Trick Room wasn't up. That would be the only way I could win against this thing because Barry Scuda, the Poison Jab does, I think it's around 85% or something like that. 80, 85 or something. So I just needed to get a little bit of chip on him and then um, get Barry Scuda in without the Trick Room. But he played very smart. Now I. Like. I didn't get nearly as mad as I did in the hunch game, but I actually do still get got somewhat annoyed just because it's insane how much 
I don't get any hacks whatsoever. And I do. I didn't really get hacked here. This was my own fault, not preparing for the Hatterene enough. If I full on take the, I, I, I take the responsibility, but full on admit that it was my own mistake. I should have had, I don't know, haste with wheezing or or uh, raw or drank tail or something to face this out or or something that could like, like for instance, if Rune Regis hadn't been um, burnt, it would have kind of stopped this thing because Poltergeist would have done enough to kill it most of the time. Uh, plus, Rune Regis could take one draining kiss uh, at the plus. I think it was plus three he was at the time. So yeah, I lost this game again. I'm now 0-2. Um, I don't know. Like I still, I still kind of like my team, uh, but I've, I've kind of already with two, the first two games seen what it is my opponents, at least the first two have done, and I'm just gonna say I'm not a fan of it. I hate that kind of like. Okay, it's it's slightly salty uh, talk, but it's also just my own personal way of playing uh, Pokemon, especially, especially in Draft League. I'm personally not good with slow um, breakers, so therefore I also hate it when I lose to slow breakers, just because I know they're good, but I just I want to just punch through them and let them die. I hate losing to slow breakers, and uh, yeah. So now I lost twice to like slow mons that set up and apparently just destroy my entire life, so... Um, since this is a replay recording, I actually probably won't. If you if you saw in my last match, I put the X's over the dead mounts. I might still do it, but this time around because it was so fast, I might not do it because it's gonna take. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe depends. Depends. I have a couple of days to edit this because I played early. But uh, GG to Penoska, you did very well. It was a really, it was a good set, but at the same time, like. I only needed like one one with like haze or something to counter it, so it's a very risky set. Um, I I don't really have much else to say. Like it was a good set. Um, I can't really like I lost. I can't really say anything. Now, next week I actually don't know who I'm playing, but uh, I freaking hope I win next week. If I if I go on three, this that's gonna suck a whole lot. But yeah, if you like the video, uh, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below what you thought of the battle, even though the battle was like it was very fast and it wasn't really all that great. Uh, and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And with that, I'm out. Peace, YouTube.